Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I am your host, Scott Ramp, and I'm here to talk to you about a, a bunch of things that are happening today. I got no city council for you guys, but I will teach you about how you can fill potholes in your neighborhoods. So I'll talk about that and more. I got Hayden Groats on here from the Washington Children's Shelter talking about the pro um, tennis, the Tennis Pro-Am tournament, uh, which is hosted by the Washington Children's Shelter, which will be happening tomorrow all the way until Sunday, which include a silent auction. But let's uh, talk a little bit about weather before we go into some of the news that are happening. It's currently 39 degrees outside. Your high is going to be 48. Your low is going to be 31. Thursday, your high is going to jump back up to 53 and then start peaking by the time you hit Friday. So Friday is looking really good with a high of 59 degrees and a low of 33 as we transition to the Saturday of rain and cold temperatures as pretty much fall is upon us. So, you know, that's just kind of happening with the weather. Let's talk about some of the things that are happening locally. Uh, Missoula, Missoula protesters were arrested the other day for sitting at GOP offices in protest of Brett Kavanaugh's, Kavanaugh's nomination to Supreme Court. Seven of the protesters, all members of the Western Montana chapter of Democratic Socialists of America, were given a six-month deferred sentence, fined $100, and told to stay away from the Brook Street building Tuesday by municipal court judge. Each of the protesters was given time to make a statement at, to the court, and they each took time to to uh, feed, uh, build off of each other's uh, message they began spreading last week. During the Friday protest and when the banners that popped up around town in the days preceding the sit-in, many protesters say that the Supreme Court has lost legitimacy. One of the main organizers, Susan Tudi Wecker, said that this was a signal to women, men, and children that sexual assault reports aren't taken seriously. In state, um, if you are a low-income person on Medicaid, you may have to dust off those work boots and get back to work. GOP lawmakers are working on a bill that would require able-bodied persons to work. The Trump administration and some conservatives have long advocated for a Medicaid work requirement, saying people should work at least 20 hours a week for the benefits they receive. Opponents argue that this will take away health care coverage, which is often a step towards steady employment. Uh, Montana passed its expansion back in 2015. More than 96,600 adults have enrolled in this bat in, in the uh, Medicaid expansion since 2016. Bulk said Tuesday that Montana should help focus on its one-of-a-kind voluntary workforce program called Help link that legislators created when expanding Medicaid. Medicaid expansion pays for benefits at a higher rate than regular Medicaid. The federal government picks up ta uh, tapers down to 90% by 2022. It's still higher than roughly 65% paid by traditional Medicaid. In national news, there's a Hurricane Michael is uh, been upgraded to a potentially catastrophic Category 4 storm within the uh, um, uh, Panama City, Florida areas. Tropical storm forced winds to 145 miles per hour hitting the Florida panhandle uh, this morning and water levels are quickly rising. Uh, of course, uh, they're expecting it to get worse this afternoon. The storm center is currently on track to make landfall pretty close to Panama Sunday uh, this afternoon. So many people who live miles away to prepare for the hurricane's incredibly damaging winds and storm surges. It would be a category, it would be the first category four storm to hit Florida panhandle since records were first kept in 1851. So that's kind of what's happening in the world today. I got Hayden Groats on here, so I'm not going to make her wait any longer. Here's an art clip from the Missoula Art Museum, and it's called Communities West Part 3. So when I come back, I'll have Hayden on here. <laughs>
Hey, we're here with Hayden Groats, and she's here to talk about the uh, tennis uh, pro AM happening uh, here in Missoula at the Peak Fitness Center uh, in their indoor tennis arena, of course. Uh, yes. It should be really good. You're also yeah. fundraising for the Washington Children's Shelter. Yeah, this entire event is a fundraiser for Watson Children's Shelter. It's our eighth annual, so it's one of our major fundraising events each year. Cool. And, uh, you know, eight years, and uh, you guys are trying something a little bit different with yes. the auction as well. Yeah, so it's a multi-part event. So Thursday night, tomorrow night, we'll have a live auction where pros um, are auctioned off for community members to play with them in a weekend tournament. Um, and then there's a silent auction piece, which is the part that's changed this year. Yeah. Um, we've gone mobile. Oh, yeah. um, so you can do it online as well, um, but you can also text on your phone um, and get real live updates when you're outbid or um, you know when anything changes, you'll be notified. It's really cool. Of course, you can always look up <clears> more information <throat> by going onto your website, washingchildrenshelter.org. And it shows uh, all the information that you need to know about it, you know, 14th through the, I mean, 11th through the 14th, yeah. uh, pardon me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you just go on down here, tells you every detail what's going on here the Thursday at the barn on Mullen. Uh, so what is the barn on Mullen? Yeah, so the barn on Mullen, um, it's down Mullen Road. Um, it's a beautiful venue and um, we're gonna have a stage set up. There's gonna be catered food by Cafe Ferenz um, and cash bar it's gonna be really fun people come from the public and the, again this is an opportunity for people to bid for a chance to play in the weekend's events nice. and every bid is a donation to the shelter so um, if you haven't checked out one of these pamphlets uh, these uh, pamphlets kind of tell you a little bios of all the uh, tennis pros that are gonna be playing there's yep. 28 28 pros this year that's correct and you'll get those um, those are gonna be handed out at the actual live auction so yeah. Yeah, great. And I've seen a couple cool items on up for auction. You were mentioning that there's a really cool condo. Yes. That's, uh, a $1,700 value thus far. Yep. And it's a uh, it's a great for fly fishing. We've got we've got lots of condos on there. We've got wine. We've got just gift certificates and gift baskets. Um, guided fly fishing trips. You name it. There's something on there. Everybody should definitely take a look at it. Um, you might walk away with a cool deal and. In the end, you're supporting an amazing cause, yep. children in Missoula. That and you were also uh, mentioning in our uh, previous interview that uh, you were saying, uh, talking about your your expanding. Washington Children's Yeah, Shelter. so we have a new program called Healthy Foundation. It's a child abuse and prevention program. Um, yeah. Uh, could you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, so um, we do in-home, um, it's a voluntary program, so uh, individuals in the community can reach out to us voluntarily, um, and we offer in-home services to families um, that just need support during a time when they might be having during a challenging time in their lives. Um, and they have to, they're prenatally, so prenatally up to three months old, I believe. Uh, we can begin working with them and we work with them until the child is five years old, just offering support services, maybe um, parenting classes or, you know, right. um, they don't, they can't drive. So we take them um, places and teach them just how to be part of the community, help them get a job, help yeah. them go back to school. Like you name it, we'll just be there every step of the way to help and them I make it like, easier. And I always like Washington Children's Shelter. They always seem like they go that extra mile we to help the to. families. Because the Washington Children's Shelter is an emergency, sh or emergency shelter to help kids who are in a situation that they need housing for yep. a short amount of time. Correct. And then um, they usually get right back to their parents. Yeah, that's the goal. Uh, every time we would love for kids to go back to their families, and that's not always the case, but we hope that with this program and identifying any risk factors early, mm -hmm. um, that this problem will slowly get smaller. So, yeah. yeah. And it's always cool because I did a little research on the Watson. Um, you know, she was a teacher from back in the day. Yeah. And then she decided to open her own shelter. It yes. was started off small and then just really grew. 40 like crazy. years we've been around because of Janice Watson. So mm -hmm. we're so very thankful. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else you want to talk about in terms of the event? Because you, yes. you have until Sunday yes. to bid because that's when the uh, the auction is closed. It's, or, it's been open. So there's a bunch of people who have been, uh, you know, putting money down for this and that. And once again, I just want to remind people that you can text for kids for the kids yeah number four the kids yep. i'll just leave this up there for a little bit awesome. so people know where to text to which is seven one seven six zero yep and you'll just follow the instructions after that it's super easy um a few other things if i can share yeah. um so friday night uh, october 12th we've got a lot of things open and free to the public that people should take an opportunity to come out for uh, we've got a junior tennis clinic and a adult tennis clinic 
um, from 4 to 5 and then 5.15 to 6.15, um, where the actual pros will be teaching um, a one-hour tennis clinic. And then immediately following the adult tennis clinic is a pro doubles exhibition, uh, which is a really cool and rare opportunity to see professional tennis athletes play in a doubles match nice. with each other. For example, Brenda Schultz-McCarthy is one of our pros. Um, she has the fastest serve with Serena Williams. Um, and so everybody knows Serena and people know Brenda too. She's a very well-known name in the tennis community. So nice. yeah. So all these events are happening uh, sporadically. Yep. You can go to WashingtonChildrenShelter.org to find all the events when they're happening, where they're happening, but primarily all the tennis that's going to be played is going to be at the Peak Racket Fitness, Club. Peak Rec, Rec Club, yep. which is uh, the observatory just outside the uh, uh, Brooks 93 area, you know, it's the first ride after that light that's so just out of Buckhouse, town. Out by Blue Mountain, mm -hmm. Peak Racket Club, right next to our um, Buckhouse. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So uh, is there anything else you want to mention? Because uh, you also mentioned that last year you guys raised 61000 roughly uh, for this from this event. Alone. Every every year this is a fundraising event, so the more money that we're able to raise, uh, off, we're able to offer more things for the shelter. So just please encourage everybody to take a look at our website, take a look at the auction, maybe come check out the live auction tomorrow night. and. Um, see how you can support us. All right. Well, thank you, Hayden, for yeah. joining me this morning. Uh, once again, uh, text for the kids to 71760 uh, to get a mobile app that will allow you to uh, make bids from your phone. So you can look at it and make sure that you're going to get that uh, one uh, trip to Argentina. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. Scott. So uh, we'll re be right back right after this. Hi everyone, I'm Joel Baird, the general manager of Missoula Community Access Television. We're bringing you the homecoming parade for the 18th year, and you're going to hear a lot. All right, give them a hand, cheer them up. Here come the runners. Thanks for joining us. Look at this guy out in head. You go! Woohoo! Yeah, go Grizz! Excellent. Cheer them along. Just thank you guys at the finish line, all the tailgate snacks you want. Guilt free. The way that I deal with color in my work is definitely the way that I deal kind of with the objects in my work and the way that I assemble my things is the decision to paint something in a specific color comes much later or directly in the moment. Um, and I think my ideas of compliments or ideas of colors, I don't, it matters for sure. Like I want it to look a specific way, but I think it's more of the way that I feel about it than planning that it's going to be blue or planning that it's going to be pink. Um, and right now in my work, I'm trying a lot harder to think about color. There was a time in my work that a lot of things were almost the same color throughout each piece. Yeah. Hello everyone, I'm Joel Baird, the General Manager of Missoula Community Access Television, inviting you to another edition of Out and About. Today we're at the City County Animal Shelter out here on Butler Road, and we're visiting with Jeff Dara, who is the uh, Animal Control Supervisor. Jeff, one of the things that we were talking about is we're out here on a beautiful summer day, the breeze is coming up, yep, and I think, good. wow, this is this is really great. I think, um, you know, I'm going to run into the store, get some ice, and the dog wanted to come along. This is an infrared thermometer that all our officers carry, so they can just walk up to your vehicle, and they see a dog in there, and they go, well, I wonder how hot it is in there. Yeah. So they hold that up there, and holy moly, you know, we're looking at 100, about 119 degrees. Okay. Uh, when the unit production manager was coming to town, they said, hey, Mike, would you go pick up Wolfgang? So um, I said, sure, I'm your man for that job. So I got in the multi-passenger van and drove out to the airport and uh, picked up Wolfgang. And, um, you know, driving back from uh, the airport, St. Louis is a fairly industrial kind of town, at least the north part of the city where you drive through. Um, I didn't have anything to talk to Wolfgang about. I felt a little weird, like this, like I didn't even know. And he was coming in early. There wasn't even, you know, much crew there yet. But he was, you know, you get your UP, you get your office set up, and then you get the UPM in. So I, I took him downtown, and um, I thought I knew where I was going, but um, I didn't. So um, I went around the block a couple of times, and then I was like, oh shit, you know, this hotel. That's right. Okay, here you are, Wolfgang, um, and. Um, 
So I didn't think much of missing a couple of turns. But um, next morning when I was getting ready to come in to work, I got a phone call. And uh, they said, uh, um, hey, Mike, I d d we'll send you a check. Don't, don't come in. And I was like, oh, what? And they said, yeah, Wolf Wolfgang was pretty unhappy about the drive down. I don't ask you to believe in God or not believe in God. That's not my department. But I do ask you to believe that you have a soul, that there's some place that has no shape, size, or color, but is of infinite value and dignity. Rich and successful people don't have more of this than the rest of us. Older people don't have more than younger people. Slavery is wrong because it's an indignation on another human being's soul. Rape is wrong because rape is not just an attack on a bunch of physical molecules, it covers over another person's soul. Obscenity is anything that covers over a soul. And what this soul does is it yearns for righteousness. We all want to lead good lives. I've covered cr crime, I've covered wars, I've met people who've committed horrible acts, but I've never met anyone who did not want to be good. Hey guys, welcome back. Let me talk to you guys about potholes. So the city of Missoula, um, last uh, Friday I tried to do a little uh, pothole demonstration about how you guys can fill in your own potholes um, by utilizing the city's uh, pothole fill, um, uh, basically uh, quick link. So let me just kind of talk to you guys about this a little bit as well. Um, we'll kick things off with the city of Missoula's website. So. When you want to go to the city of Missoula, you go to ci.missoula.mt.us. You see this webpage. Great, wonderful website. Um, I suggest all you do is go to search Missoula. It's like when you type in anything that you're looking for, I type in potholes. You, wanna, you have a pothole in your neighborhood, your alleyway, and you want it to be filled. This is where you go. And you scroll down, and I always look for the, the one that says potholes from September 9th, 2009. And this brings you to um, this page where you have to sign in. So you create an existing account and it brings you to this next page. So you want a brief description. Okay, so here's the thing. There is a pothole just outside the uh, alleyway behind our building. Why not fill that up? I'm just gonna type it in here and I'm, and I'm gonna submit it to the uh, city of Missoula live on my morning show and uh, replay it in the afternoon if you're watching this in the afternoon. So you get a brief description. Um, alleyway behind 500 North Higgins, next to the dumpster. P pretty, straight, pretty straightforward. Street name, 500 North Higgins. Missoula, Montana. And then I'll have to change that. I'm gonna write my name, Scott Ramp. <laughs> Ranch, wow, I can't spell anything. There we go. Um, Problem location. Five hundred North Higgins in the alley way behind. I don't know. I'm just uh, kind of just uh, just kind of writing it here, just kind of uh, plain and simple. Because there's always that, that that huge hole that's right next to the garbage that just really collects water. I'm just like, hey, why not? I might as well do this. I don't know why I just didn't do this any uh, any sooner. And then, of course, I'll have to put my own um, information on here as well. <laughs> but I won't show you that. <laughs> so, da da da. My information is... <laughs> so it, it, it's simple as just typing it all in. Um, yeah. It's pretty straightforward. You know, you, you just kind of type in everything that you need to type in here. I always say brief description, you know, it's, you know, straightforward. Like, how uh, unclear is Alloway behind 500 North Higgins? So I'm going to submit it. Guess I'll have to sign in again. Um, 
it doesn't take too long to sign in. But there you go. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm just going to kind of, I think I'll just end it right there. And I'll, I'll, I mean, uh, let's see. Oh, man, this is very riveting television, just so you guys know. <laughs> Yep, plain and simple. City of Missoula, Montana, zip code, downtown 59802. And of course, not, I'll, I'll have to put my number on here, so. <laughs> okay, and that's pretty much it. There you go. And all you got to do is just go to the uh, uh, website, ci.missoula.mt.us. But let's talk about something else. Let's talk about uh, MCAT stuff. So MCAT, um, hold on a second. There we go. Let's talk about MCAT. MCAT, uh, we did a, a volleyball game last night. It was the game between uh, uh, Hellgate High School and Big Sky High School. And here's a little clip from our live stream. Uh, you can find all our live streams on our Facebook page, Missoula's Community Media Resource. And you can check out all this stuff. So this is the uh, game two from last night where they uh, both were tied and neck and neck between both teams. Uh, the lighter pink is Hellgate High School. The darker pink is Big Sky High School. And this is for breast cancer awareness and it's part of the month. So that was the first point towards Hellgate. And all they needed to do is get one more for the win, for the second win. And it's usually best of five. So here's the last play. Let's check it out. And thus ended the, uh, um, the the second game between uh, Big Sky and Hellgate High School. Uh, Hellgate uh, swept Big Sky last night with a three wins to uh, nil uh, victory. So that was kind of like what happened there. Um, we're going to be doing another volleyball game this Thursday around 7 p.m. You can check all that out by going on to uh, MCAT's Facebook page. Um, it's as simple as going to Missoula's Community Media Resource or you can go to MCAT.org for more information about all your high school sports and your link, quick links to all those sports and more. Um, also, we do our Saturday drop-ins every uh, Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. If you are uh, interested in being a part of MCAT just in general, uh, we have orientation every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. for anybody who wants to just pop in and check out some of our cameras and check out our studio. It's nice. It's great. You can check that out every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. If you want to call us, our number is 542-6228, otherwise known as 5 to MCAT. You can also email us, MCAT at MCAT.org. All right, so that's pretty much that. Uh, that was my city council report, even though I didn't have any city council for you guys. I have a brand new Dub and Stuff for you. So without further ado, here is Dub and Stuff from Carnival Story, the 1954 film. All right, did I do laundry or didn't I? Oh, hey, how's it going over there? I see that you're all ready to party. How you doing? Oh, um... You wouldn't like to go back to my tent, would you? Um, no. No, not really. I don't think that would be a good idea. We, Why? I, I, I think we, we get along. We work together, and it would not be appropriate. What do you think that we should just keep it professional? <coughs> well, you can professionally come to my tent if you don't Oh, mind. no, no. That's a bad idea. You know, I've been having trouble getting some sleep, you know? Uh, have you tried not drinking coffee? Well, yes, but it's just so simple. I heard about this thing on the internet where... If you drink coffee before bed? Mmm, you wake up refreshed after four hours. Well, listen, the only way to do this is to tap into your REM sleep. Drinking coffee before sleep is stupid. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but coffee is my life force. Oh, come on. Hands off, Mr. Man. Well, you know what else I heard? Throw cold water in the morning and you feel much better for the day. Yeah, that's what I heard, too. Okay, we're doing this. We're gonna get a bunch of water... Right over there, just for you, and you're going to jump right into it. 
Bring it on, Mr. Man. Huh, is this chocolate or poop on your chin? You better go clean it up. But strangely enough, I want to kiss you. Mwah. Ugh, maybe that was poo. Now what the hell going on here? Well, you know, this is a hell of a way to wake up. I bet you nickel she does not jump. Oh, jeez. I'm having second thoughts about this already. <laughs> and this isn't even the high dive. Bum, bum, bum. Listen. Oh, jeez. I believe in you. You can do anything you set your mind to. You're strong. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. Now jump off this thing into that cold water. And remember, I love you. I believe in you. Oh, you know, on second thought, maybe coffee this is This isn't about you and your coffee. This is about you jumping in that cold water. All right. You're going to jump in that pool, and you're going to make a splash, and everyone's going to be like, whoa, 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 look at her. She just jumped in that pool. And people are going to be so proud of you for days and days end. Okay? Well, okay. If everyone's going to be proud of me, then... Well, of course they are. Just look at them. They're already proud. Okay. Well, here I go. <clears throat> I can do this. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know when breakfast is, do you? <sighs> oh, fine, ignore me. We all can't be here as just diving off that board or whatever. <clears throat> just jump already. <laughs> Guess hey, I owe you five cents. Blah, blah, blah. Did you see me in there? Oh, no, I wasn't looking. Can you do that again? How do you feel in there? Do you feel born again? Oh, yes, that was really scary. Think nothing of it. You're ready for the high dive. There she goes again. Uh. See, that's the point. It's supposed to be dumb. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's talk about some things that are happening in the city. Uh, not necessarily the city, but in terms of events. Hey, if you guys are interested in doing some things, they're doing a development, developmental and preschool screening at Lolo Elementary School. And this happens starting at 9 a.m., pretty much going on today. And if you have a kid who is uh, aged birth to five years of age and is in the Lolo and Woodman School District area. They're doing a screening at the Lolo Elementary School today, and they're doing some screens that will include a uh, gross monitor, fine motor language concepts, communication concepts, communication skills, hearing, and vision screenings. Um, just a nice little checkup to see some of your uh, P's and Q's of your kids. Um, Tiny Tales is going to be on Power Place, and uh, French Town Storytime is going to be uh, all sponsored by the Missoula Public Library, uh, Missoula Food Bank, um, d at their in Power Place. They do it Tiny Tales and the French Town Library, um, all starting at 10.30 a.m. this morning. Geology, if you want to learn about geology, Spectrum Discovery Center is a great place to do it uh, with hands-on learning there. Explore the new visiting exhibit, Black Hole, until October 13th. They are celebrating Earth Science Week by investigating geology in the Discovery Bench and celebrating the work of science of Dr. Inyong Han. This week in the Makerspace, they're doing spirographs. Um, used outdoor gear sale. University of Montana, hey, if you are interested in getting all your uh, fixtures and everything ready to do outdoor gear and do any snowboarding, skiing, and stuff, it's one of the biggest gr outdoor garage sales at the University of Montana at 12 p.m. It's usually located out next to the parking garage next to the Mansfield Library, all starting at noon today. Speaking of noon, hey, it wouldn't be noon activities without the Missoula Senior Center. And why not play some Scrabble and Bridge indoors, have some lunch, hang out with some old friends. Uh, Scrabble and Bridge is the great place to do it. At Missoula's best dance floor, the Missoula Senior Center. Missoula Public Library Memory Cafe starting at 2 p.m. at Missoula Public Library. Uh, they're doing a memory cafe is a safe, welcoming, supportive space for individuals experiencing memory loss, their caregivers and family members. This month, Elaine Chef from Green Path Herb School will be joining the presentation about magical of uh, essential oils. They'll create an uh, aromatherapy necklace and discuss scent memory. It's going to be in a large meeting room at the Missoula Public Library from 2 to 4 p.m. And also, they have a makerspace. Makerspace is a great place to uh, learn to, to use a 3D printer. And it's going to be f some open hours there starting at 3 p.m. And it goes until about 6 p.m. Middle school writers starting at 3.30 p.m. So right after school, if your kid is interested in doing some writing, that's the perfect time to do it. Second Wednesday night book group. Um, Missoula Public Library hosts a book night group. And they're doing part of the big read is A Wizard of Earthsea. So this is a bunch of people can get together in the uh, boardroom at the Missoula Public Library. And it starts at 7 p.m. It's their second Wednesday book club. Um, 
Missoula Haunted House kicks off. Just what I said. No, Root Head Studios. Um, let's see. Root Head Studios is doing the Missoula Haunted House. And they're doing, um, if you've you got to go check it out, it, uh, they got darn fancy media. Um, all sorts of production stuff and gears. And they're, uh, they're doing a, let's see. Let's go on over to, oh, they didn't say the, I guess I have to find the link somewhere else. Uh, there it is, Haunted House. Uh, so the Haunted House, it's nine days of terror, even though it's happening for more than nine days. Uh, duh, duh, duh. So yeah, they're doing all sorts of cool things happening uh, all month long. You get all sorts of links and all sorts of stuff happening through here as well. Uh, I think last year they did the Washington Children's Shelter. So this one here is Quarantine, Death from Above. Um, so they're doing all sorts of things, Root Head Studios, and it all starts ten, um Actually, yeah, it starts tonight, um, Wednesdays through Sunday. Uh, I think it's Wednesdays through Saturdays, and their uh, weekday nights is 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. with the weekends uh, for Friday, Saturday at 11 p.m. And those uh, days should start increasing by the time they get closer and closer to October 31st. And it's $15 for regular line tickets, $20 for express line, and there's $5 for kid hours. Of course, kid hours are available later on in the year as well. So um, you can go to the MissoulaHauntedHouse.com for more information. Um, and let's talk about some um, late night events. If you're interested in doing some karaoke, um, Dark Horse, um, Ballander, and the Sunrise Saloon has all sorts of country music and uh, karaoke f to your heart's content. If you're interested in doing some trivia night, uh, Broadway Bar and Grill, uh, trivia will be your suit at the uh, press box, and then also Silver Slipper does their trivia night starting at 7.30 p.m. So those are a bunch of the things happening tonight as well. Um, let's see, what else do I have for you guys? I showed you art clip. Let me show you another art clip, and this is uh, Steve Hunt at the Missouri Art Museum Photography. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Let's talk about events that are happening for your Thursday. If you're interested in doing some YMCA family fun time tomorrow morning starting at 9 a.m. for only $22, your whole family can enjoy a lot of the indoor activities that YMCA has to provide with pools, uh, gyms, um, workout equipment, game rooms, and also a climbing wall inside there as well. And if you are interested in learning some more stuff, Missoula Public, Li Missoula Public Library is hosting an Excel class, an in introduction to the basic features of Microsoft Excel, a spreadsheet program designed for the Windows environment. They include entering data and formulas and assumes the students have some experience with Windows and using a mouse. Um, registration is required by calling 721-BOOK, otherwise known as 721-2665, and this happens from noon to 1 p.m. And you can also uh, justify your Excel uh, um, on your resume. Um, make it and take it crafts on Big Sky Branch and Missoula Public Library starting at 2.30 p.m. Come and make unique crafts and gifts of the Big Sky Branch. Registration is not required. For more information, you can call them at 728-2400, which is the MCPS main line, 728-2400. Their extension is 8605, and this is after school at the, uh, at the Big Sky High School, and you just make crafts and you get to take it home with you. The Big Read event series Game of Goose at Kiwanis Park. Starting at 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon from 3 to 5 p.m. they get to play a live action version of the medieval Game of the Goose with the Society of Creative um, 
uh, barony of Sentinel's Keep. Uh, if the weather is poor, they'll play in the library. Join the game at Kiwanis Park at Kiwanis Park. It's 35, th 350 Kiwanis Street. Lego Club, if you're interested in doing some Lego stuff, um, is a public library host at Lego Club every Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Uh, impression of community art exhibit. Um, Missoula Art Public House is hosting a um, art exhibit featuring Missoula's themed art pieces created by adults with de developmental disabilities. Live music performed by Kima and the Keepsakes, silent auction refreshments, and more. And that's going to be at the Missoula Public House starting at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Washington Children's Shelter, they're doing the Pro Am. Pro Auction um, tomorrow. Uh, it's kicking off tomorrow, um, 6 p.m. at the Barn on Mullen. Please join Washington Children's Shelter. Um, of course, I had Hayden on here talking all about it. Um, this fun-filled night includes live auction, 28 local, regional, ATP, and WTA professionals, including a fourth internationally recognized tennis professionals, Robert Kendrick, Brenda Schultz-McCarthy, Luke Jensen, and Jesse Witten. Successful bidders for these evening play in the tournament with their partners and enjoy a VIP party. And this is the weekend of October 12th through the 14th. But the big auction live pro night is happening tomorrow night to kick off the Washington's Pro AM event that's happening all week long. And all the tennis will be played at the um, racket uh, court inside um, the Peak Fitness Center just off of Highway 93. The date night and insectarium. Hey, if you want to drop off your kids, um, the date night's at not at insectarium, but your kids can go there and enjoy two hours of educational programming at um, Missoula Insectarium tomorrow night, starting at 6 p.m. Your kid must be potty trained, but they're always looking. For, uh, but they always have kids aged four to 11 welcome, and they um, and it's fifteen dollars per kid, and it's ten dollars per each per uh, each individual sibling that you bring along. So if you want to have a nice uh, uh, summer, uh, a nice uh, supper, dinner evening without the kids, you can drop them off at the Missoula. Missoula Insectarium tomorrow night. Summer and Smoke, I just want to remind you guys, is that um, it's a play that's happening at the, um, uh, the uh, University of Montana Theater at 7.30 p.m. Um, performances are um, happening uh, pretty much tonight through the 13th with uh, matinees on Sunday at 2 p.m. And this is the last week to check it all out. And it's their first, I think it's their first show uh, at the, um, from the UM Fine Arts all right, so that's pretty much it for your uh, Wednesday, Thursday events. I do have a couple Thursday night events that are happening as well. If you're interested in going out and about uh, tomorrow night, uh, the Roxy has BMT, which is beats per minute. It's going to be a film. They're also doing uh, Grizz Volleyball at the Auxiliary Gym. Uh, they have Open Mic Night at the... Uh, Alternative Dispensary. Um, they're going to have Nacarnix Anonymous meeting at the uh, University of Montana. It's health and education. It's at the, usually at the Jeanette Rankin Peace Center, uh, Jeanette Rankin Building. It's not the Peace Center, but it's the Jeanette Rankin Building. Just, uh, it's like right next to the Oval. You can't miss it. And again, once again, I just want to uh, give a shout out to Head Studios who are doing the Missoula Haunted House. Go to MissoulaHauntedHouse.com for uh, information. It's $15, $20 for an express pass, and it's just a, a, a fun way to enjoy the haunted house. But of course, most of the haunted things are happening and are open. The uh, Missoula Haunted Maze is open as well. You can check all that out as well. But of course, you can check out all these events and more by going to MissoulaEvents.net. Hey, MissoulaEvents.net. What's going on, Missoula? This is it. This is what's going on, Missoula. But I've pretty much overstayed my welcome. And I want to uh, thank you guys for joining me this morning. I want to thank Hayden Groats uh, for coming on to talk about the Tennis Pro a AM to help benefit the Washington Children's Shelter. Uh, they're hoping to raise $70,000. And the auction is going on right now. And you can um, submit and you can get um, live updates to your auction items by uh, texting for the kids to 71760. Okay, well, that pretty much is it, does it for my show. Uh, there won't be no, uh, I didn't see any uh, city council committee meetings on Wednesday, so I'll have your very first, yes, I have Flagship Friday ready for you guys. So Flagship Friday kicks off this Friday, um, and it's going to be featuring the kids from CS Porter. So without further ado, thank you guys for joining me, and goodbye.